Okay, well, yep, 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 yep. If you uh, if you guys watch most or all of my videos and you're tuning into this one, yes, I am Jay Canada in yet another new room, new office. Um, we don't even need to go into details, bruh. I moved once again, ho hopefully the last time for a little bit here, but who knows, brother? I'm always on the move. In fact, maybe one of these days I'll make my way to Detroit. Um, probably not. Why would you say that? But, uh, you know, it would be fine. I could catch a Pistons game when I'm there. Maybe talk about the all-time Pistons team builder with some people on the street. I don't know where I'm going with this intro, but I'm about to tell you about the entire Detroit Pistons franchise in under one minute. The Pistons entered the Basketball Association of America as the Fort Wayne Pistons in 1948. In 1957, they officially became the Detroit Pistons of the NBA, but wouldn't find ultimate success for three more decades. During that time, legends like Dave Bing and Bob Lanier guided the franchise through many disappointing seasons. In 1981, the Pistons drafted Isaiah Thomas. He'd eventually be joined by Joe Dumars, Bill Lambeer, and Dennis Rodman. Under their guide, Detroit would win back-to-back -back chips in 1989 and 90. Thomas saw his career cut relatively short, and the Pistons stumbled a bit through an era led by the wildly talented Grant Hill. A tough new defensive-oriented Pistons core was developed around Chauncey Billups, Ben and Rasheed Wallace, Rip Hamilton, and Tayshaun Prince. That unit would make six straight East Finals climax with beating the Lakers in 04, winning championship number three for the Pistons franchise. Detroit has seen limited success since that era, just two first round playoff appearances in 13 seasons, but a pair of lottery picks were added to an already impressive young core, meaning the future is bright. And there's no correlation to me deciding to do the Pistons team builder and, and getting into my new office. It's just random, but honestly, as you can see from the title, this Pistons team had a mil has a million reward cards, some that I couldn't get, some that I did have. It's really unique unique in that way. Allow, allow me to explain. We are, as per usual, starting with a uh, <laughs> blank lineup here, but even with the first set, the Bad Boys era, we got some reward cards already, bruh. In fact, as you can see, our Bad Boys era Pistons crew, three out of four are reward cards led by Invincible Isaiah Thomas, who came free with season eight. Uh, he's an undersized point guard to the max. Not sure how usable he's going to be, but I'm going to try my best, Pistons fans. Joining him off the bench, finals MVP, one of those two years, Joe Dumars, I think in 1990, I stand to be corrected, an Ascension reward card I happen to have. Good for you. And from Triple Threat, we've got Bill Lambeer. I'm not sure if they gave him a real jumper this year or if it's his usual jumper, which is impossible to use, but we'll find out together. And off the end of my bench, oh wait, Grant Hill, no, uh, hold on. Bruh, spoilers, what was I doing? It's supposed to be Dennis Rodman. I just, you know, I, okay, yep, yeah, I spoiled up. Actually, the next era of the team. And that is the mid 90s era of the team, post bad boys uh, prior to the next core we're gonna look at, which yes, does have Grant Hill, as I spoiled. Grant Hill, another reward card on this Pistons team that I do not have because brother, I'm not winning 50, 60 games of unlimited. It's just not gonna happen. So we'll use this Grant at the end of our bench. And also in the starting lineup from the 90s, Jerry Stackhouse, who randomly had one of my favorite seasons ever. I think it was uh, 2001 when he averaged 29 points a game, just shy of 30 a game, which was way higher than his career high ever was prior or after. After, crazy, go look it up. It's a fun time. After that, we move to the 04 championship era of the team, led by two of my favorite players' cards from this era. Ben Wallace, they gave him a swish. Ooh, he is undersized as a big, but Ben can shoot now. He's actually always very usable in 2K. And like I said, one of my favorite players from the era, I thought when he had an afro up to here, it was just, as a child, I love Ben Wallace. I, I don't know why. The rebounds, the blocks, it was a good time. That doesn't make sense. And as an adult playing 2K, y'all know how I feel about Chauncey Billups. I wish he got an updated version uh, at this point in the year, but at the time I'm recording this, he does not have one, but he'll be off the end of our bench. You know, finals MVP, he deserves it from 04. A not very exciting era of the team. I just threw two cards in here from the middling years where, well, the Pistons were really bad. That includes Jeremy Grant, who's now off to Portland, and Andre Drummond, who's a pretty solid card in 2K, and I'll be honest, off the top of my head, he last played in Brooklyn, right? I, I don't know where Andre Drummond is. Sue me, okay? But our lineup is gloriously random rounded out by the future of the Pistons, which I'm sure if any Detroit fans are watching this are very excited about Invincible Cade Cunningham. Come on, bro. Rookie of the year finalist, six foot eight. He started the season off really slowly, but by the end of it, if you look at his, num at his numbers from his rookie season, he I mean, Cade's going to be great. I don't know what else can I say about him. And like I mentioned in the intro portion, a couple of lottery picks were added to the crew. Jalen Duran, who I believe they traded for. 
and Jade and Ivy, who I believe they picked fifth overall. It's a summer brat. I might be getting some of these facts wrong, but you know the vibes. A couple rookies, a sophomore, ugh, a couple championship eras of the team. This Pistons lineup does look insane. Like I mentioned, I'm missing rewards Grant Hill. There was also a Don Ole you could get from Limited and a Bob Lanier from Triple Threat, neither of which I have, but I did my best, bro. And I feel like I can win with this team. I'm probably jinxing myself, but it's just what I feel. Oh, we don't care. All right, bro, we're on our home court. I love it. I love, I don't love that. Okay, Jokic, LeBron. <laughs> wow, he's got Yao and Taco. That's so surprising. It is also my first game of the day. Actually, my first game in a couple days. So that is my built-in excuse. Perfect. IT. We, we ain't need no, no, no excuse for that. That's just a green brother. So IT's not going to be able to guard Jokic at all, but he also, he's having issues guarding me. No, no, no. no. Uh, yo, I'm trying to pump fake. That's wild. I was trying to pump fake that and Jerry really got blocked and he really got the rebound. What a horrible sequence of events. Ben Wallace, though. Ben Wallace, though. One of my favorite players all time. If I recall correctly, though, he wasn't hitting fadeaway threes, but you know what? We love to see it regardless. Let's go Cade wide open again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who needs greens? I don't know where they are with Cade, but I'm back in this game already. And that's a big steal. Big steal. Pick that up. Pick that up. Uh, who's ahead of the break? Ooh, Isaiah Thomas wide open. No, no, no. Chill, chill, chill. Bruh, 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 bruh. Can I get some? Can I get... Can I get some control of the ball? Man, that was so bad. If I get him with uh, the same play to the same player for the third time in a row, that would just be amazing. We're going to try and end the quarter with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going to run by me, Cade. Cade? Okay. If my opponent figures out my play, I might be cooked completely in this game. But you know what? Ooh, ooh, clutch, 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 Cade, clutch. Okay, he's very good. This is going to be a challenge. The bench crew I have on this Pistons team definitely isn't horrible, but it's not better than my starters, and my starters were low-key getting worked. Bruh, that was a perfect bait, and I don't get the steal. That is so tough. Let's go, though. I'm keeping Cade in here because Cade, Cade be cooking, brother. Cade be cooking. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. Jerry Stackhouse finally going to make a shot. Oh, I thought that was going to be a three. I'll take it, though, Jerry. Big take charge here. Big take charge. Nope, no, nope, nope. We there. We there. Yeah. Fake the take charge to freaking contest the jumper. Jaden Ivy, Jalen Ivy. I don't even know his name. Wait, I'll figure it out after I hit this fading three. After I hit this three right here. Good luck. Good. Good luck. Now I got to figure out his name. Is it? J it's Jaden. I. Okay, I think I was wrong. You're wrong. You're so wrong. Honestly, man, keeping this game. Oh, Andre drums wide open. What are you doing? Andre, why are you not shooting a three? Th Bro, you got to have better court awareness than that, Andre. I'm letting my man's cook with a lot of twos here because, I mean, he's got mismatches everywhere, as I've explained. But if I can... Oh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> oh, if I can keep making threes every once in a while. Yes, Jaden. Yes, Jaden. No, Jaden. No, nope. no. no. <laughs> I've hit a couple big shots with Jaden Ivey, but also, man, when he's got Shaq literally flying at me. I mean, that's tough. That That's tough. I'm not going to lie. Good block, though, Drummond. Speaking of flying, let's go. Let's go, Drummond. Yeah, Detroit Pistons legend. Am I, am I, am I right, Pistons fans? <laughs> Probably not, but we do have the lead thanks in large part to Andre Drummond's defense. So let's go. Can I keep it going and not get flooded? That would be amazing. All right, man, I'm honestly a bit surprised. I thought I was gonna get flooded in this game. It felt it felt like one of these games, an opponent with a better team knew, knew, knows, knows what he's doing. It felt like it was gonna be a flood, but your boy Jay managed to not get flooded here now. Can I close this game out and potentially win? That's a whole nother question. Andre Drummond just gave me the worst animation. Okay. I Come on, Bill Lambier. Haven't taken a jumper with you, Bill. Uh, oh, Andre down low. Pump fake it. Uh, chill, chill. Ah, man. I have such bad court spacing, mostly because my opponent has 19 foot giants all over the place. But there's Andre with a big three. Get over there it is. Here. Big. Yo, yo, Andre Drummond, the low key MVP of this team builder. I mean, oh, what? Dumars? Dumars' jumper is slower than molasses. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, no, we're down seven. I got the starters in, decently rested, but my opponent finally reads my uh, my signature play. Offensively, it's just so tough against all these giants. Ah, oh, that was a good foul by him. Ben, wide open. Oh, good look. Good look. Yo, I have not been using my boy Ben, but that's too quick a jumper. I gotta shoot more with him down the stretch. Nah, he's oh, he's really he's really bullying it. I gotta only shoot threes, man, because he can get a two at will against me. So I gotta keep hoisting up threes, and they gotta they gotta be good looks, obviously. But yeah, threes. Oh, right there, Ben. <laughs> 
two in a row with Ben. We out here. Now let me force a steal really quick. If I if if, if I can force a steal here, yeah, yeah, yeah. We there, we there, we there. Uh, stay in the passing lanes. Yes, Duran. Yes, stay there. Yes, Ben. Bruh, 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 bruh. I'm trying to get a bomb steal. It's just not working on Shaq. Come on, give me a screen on this side. IT, big shot. Big shot, IT. Nope, no, chill. <laughs> oh my word. Yo, they made me sh I was not, I was trying to pump fake that after. What? That's, that's really the, that's really the game, 2K. Come on. Oh my word, no. <laughs> I got a block. You stepped out of bounds, Cade Cunningham. You really stepped out of bounds. Ain't no what, yo. I'm upset. Bruh, I end up losing by nine. 2K really hates letting good stuff happen to me. I swear, because I mean, as you can see, I played good. He out-rebounded me 21 to seven. Oh my life. I hate Taco and Yao, man. But even still, I have a chance in this game. I had a lead at one point in the fourth. And uh, where was the dagger here? Oh yeah, this was it right here. It was a five point game so i uh i passed out of a shot here which i get it look at this bad court spacing yeah sure at like this point i think i had press square to shoot but the pass got deflected so by the time uh duran picked the ball up i didn't want to shoot anymore so he ended up launching a freaking very early three which was literally just because of button delay and he came back down and, and where was duran oh no it was isaiah Tom. what is isaiah bruh isaiah Tom. Wait a minute, what? Look at Isaiah Thomas. He gets put into an animation. Oh my word. Did I user control him into the crowd? That's so tough. But it doesn't really matter, man. Our Pistons team was very good. Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivy, the young core leading the way. IT, Ben Wallace, couple legends were also solid. And I didn't get flooded. Yes, I took the L, but I'm taking the silver lining of not getting flooded. And please let me know down below if you guys enjoyed uh, this video, another all-time team. First one recorded in my new setup. You're probably gonna see a couple videos still to come from my old setup because I pre-recorded a bunch. But yeah, this Pistons team was a lot of fun. Wish I could have brought home a dub. I'm on a bit of a losing streak, actually. I should probably try to stop sucking so much. What? That, that would be a problem.